Western media has portrayed protesters as part of a Tibetan struggle for greater autonomy. Chinese TV only shows them as an angry, violent mob. Perhaps it's not surprising that Western and Chinese views of the unrest and its causes remain worlds apart. The Olympic torchlighting ceremony is a good example of the gulf in perceptions. Chinese viewers didn't see these pictures, but what Westerners saw as an attempt to highlight human rights concerns is exactly the kind of act many here regard as deliberately humiliating to China and motivated by envy or fear of its rise. Of course, state censorship and propaganda colour their vision. And of course, those who disagree with the government may not feel they can say so. But most people here simply believe that Tibet is a historic part of their country, and a poor one at that, in need of a helping hand from Beijing. Yeah, actually, the uh, Chinese government uh, spent a lot of money, and uh, um, in fact, uh, t uh, Tibet people uh, have a higher life standard, and they, I, uh, with the help of the China, uh, Chinese government, they ha they can uh, uh, in a good, very good life. I think. State television spreads this message of solidarity, even in the wake of the riots seeking to show that life in Lhasa returns to normal thanks to the clean-up operation. But protests are continuing to flare elsewhere. And until journalists can travel freely, none of us, Chinese or Western, will really understand why.